Ah, uh, D, I saw lots of uh, beatings happening this weekend in sports to different degrees, and um, mm-hmm. I saw some uh, satisfying wins and some yes. satisfying losses, and um, I'm just going to put it out there. Fuck the Yankees. I'm glad y'all motherfuckers lost. Uh, I like to put one thing out there. I like to just put one thing out there, because I was actually uh, viewing the um, highlights of this game. <laughs> um, right. But I was reading the highlights of the game earlier today, and it's it's nothing nothing major. Trust me, it's nothing major at all. It's Alabama versus Troy University. I mean, I mean southern south, southern South Alabama versus Troy University. And the only thing I got to say is this: um, number one, to any commentator talking about the University of Southern Alabama, stop referring to it as USA. That just makes us all look bad. And number two. <laughs> And number two, hey, Troy University, y'all haven't been shit for, like, how long, dog? <laughs> Yo, Jeez. they beat up on a small-ass school. Anytime a small school beats up on a smaller school, it's really, it's quite literally uh, 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 Roger Klutz getting getting bullied by a, by a bigger bully than me. That's all it really is, man. It really, I mean, that's, all, that's really all it is. But um... Also, and I am with you. Fuck the Yankees. And I'll put one more on there. Astros, we want the smoke. That's all I got to say. Let me tell you something. (laughs) Here's what makes the Yankees losing so great. You know, we always talk about how money can't always get you the best team. The Yankees spent... The Yankees Yankees spent $2 billion total In in, in in a decade and haven't gotten not a goddamn thing. In a whole decade, you spend not two, even one World Series win. Two billion dollars. Now, see, and I'm thinking like, well, well D, you maybe, right there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, D, maybe it's is it's it's something like that in the football world. I mean, when I say football, I mean soccer world. I'm like, yeah, but Real Madrid won championships, so I don't know what to tell you. Like, yeah, they spent an absorbent amount of money, but they won championships within a decade, multiple ones within a decade. And I'm like, well, okay, okay, what about a lesser team? What, Manchester United? I hate to tell you this, they won it a decade, nigga. So, so, who else is doing some shit like that that comes up with absolutely zero? Absolutely zero. And here's the thing. Yeah, we all know, and I'm pretty sure the Yankees know themselves. Now nah, we can't buy a championship. Well, nigga, your behavior tells us that. Exactly. That's what you think. <laughs> Same thing. Look, see, the Dodgers are way more transparent than the than the Yankees is in that regard to me. Because mm-hmm. the Yankees will put the front there. We just trying to win a World Series. You know, let's go Yankees. Um, high, however many World Series they won, I don't know. I mean, won like fifty. I don't know. But um, they, but then you got. But then you're the then you look at the Dodgers. It's like, wow. So y'all just gonna keep on buying shit until you hit Peter, huh? All right, guys. <laughs> I mean, I guess you know. I, just, uh, no, what's the word? The, the 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 line you say out of context, but sometimes you nail it. <laughs> All right, Cotton, that's a bold move. <laughs> see what you got. Let's see what you got. <laughs> see where the oh, guy goes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what, man. Um, so you ain't lying about the Washington Nationals wanting to smoke because they came yeah. out against the Astros and was like, "Fuck you, we're gonna beat you on your own turf." Let me tell you something. If they beat the Astros tonight in Houston, they have officially they have officially taken the Astros' soul. Yeah, and it's gonna be really hard to do that because it's tough. Don't get it twisted. It was five oh, yeah, four they, last they night. It was tough. Like- they're going against Jason Verlander today, and Verlander is is oh my god, that nigga going to the Hall of Fame one day. But that the, nigga's a beast. The Nationals so, got Strasburg, I, so it don't matter. Yeah, I know we got a Strasburg. <laughs> I know we do. I just don't think it's better than a Verlander. That's all. But look, here we are. I want my I want my Nationals to do it, man. But. Yeah, the energy that was in um Minute Maid Park, nigga. Good lord, that, oh, that, that last right, cat, huh? that last catch hit for the Nationals. It's like the stadium got quiet. Like fuck, these guys are serious. Damn. Nah, uh, shit they got me was when they got that. Who was it? I forgot who got the home run. I did. I was like, shit. Oh, now dude, that was the same thing. I was Shut like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck, damn it, it's gonna happen. Yeah, 
there is something about baseball momentum that that always gets me, man. You can't let a team get a home run like that because they're going the crowd going to be hype, especially during the playoffs, man. You, you just, holy shit, man. Oh, man. But, but they is- got at that. They got out that. They got out that all uh, in, and I was like, "Thank you, Jesus." But, uh, but, but we have to. We have to pay homage to uh, the base god Juan Soto, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, have to, we have to pay homage to that guy because that man. I told you, man. Juan Soto is going to be one of the great hitters of this league. Only man. twenty years old. And, uh, yeah, but when it's all said and done, he's going to be one of the greatest hitters ever that did, that did it. I guarantee you, man. Yeah. He's already showing that he's going. He's going to be in this league for a minute and doing that for a minute. So I was laughing because the sports junkies. I don't know if it was Grant or Danny. It was like, man, just go on ahead and sign Soto to an 18-year contract. I think Danny was like, hey, hey pump your brakes, guys. Let's just see how this, this World Series hey, plays hey, out. Hey, <laughs> see hey, how this World Series I'm plays ready, out. I'm ready for them to keep that nigga for the next 10 years. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Yeah. Sometimes you don't let talent fly off your shelf like that. Like with Anthony Rendon, if they can't afford him, they can't afford him. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they, if they know they can't keep him under the contract and they know that he still wants to leave after a World Series, there ain't much you can do. So yeah. I already made peace in my head that Rendon's not coming back, regardless of what happened at the end yeah. of the season. I already made that made peace with that. But Soto, no, keep him as long as you can. Mm-hmm. Keep that motherfucker happy as long as you can before he starts asking for Bryce Hopper money, and then the Nationals do what they do best: don't pay motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but D but D, we have to talk about the big thing that happened: the battle for L.A. Los Angeles soul. The Clippers versus the Lakers, the big time game. That, that oh, was, that was big gonna, time the, game! The big time game that resulted in Kawhi <laughs> Leonard. Uh huh. Thirty points. Was I like to call laughs? <laughs> Last McGee. Um, with no PG thirteen, the Clippers beat the Lakers. Uh huh. That's crazy. Well, you know, you know, Chris Paul down. But you know, it's the funny thing. All of LeBron's detractors have came out hard on this one. I was like, see, he got everything he wanted. He still not winning. And the most amazing part of them was having them a Laker fans. <laughs> what I'm mean, missing in that is like, they were like, oh, LeBron got 18. I'm like, but Anthony Davis and, you know, d- d- was it um Green got like 28 points a piece. Like, so, I mean, that's I mean, a good thing. It's a good thing. You got, here's the thing I do like about the Lakers. They do have, they do have a little bit of a wider court. They, they got Danny Green where he's going to be the third man mm-hmm. underneath um, LeBron and, and Antonio Davis. Yeah, and, I'm Anthony, Anthony, Davis. Yeah, Anthony Davis. Antonio Davis. Oh, man, I wish AD I was wish. <laughs> I wish. Oh, oh, he only would make 10 points, but he will punch the living shit out of anything. <laughs> hey, we already show his choking skills, so we already know what's up. Man, Dale Davis and Antonio Davis used to beat up on everybody. But look, um... But they, um, yo, you know, they, even, I, they even wanted to smoke with Shaq at one point. I'm like, God damn. I remember, they did. I remember one time. I remember one time. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> actually, no, I, I, I remember. I rem- actually, I know the game he was talking about when um, Jalen Rose was talking about how he <laughs> he pretty much uh, uh, sicked um, both of them onto motherfucker Oakley and motherfucker uh, uh, Patrick Ewing one game. <laughs> How he basically just made sure not like nah, y'all ain't gonna mess with me because if, if I if I talk shit, they just gonna come behind me and I'm like, well hell yeah, what what? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, nah, I think he he opens up the court. He's a really good three point shooter and all that man. So there's a lot of up man. It's 82 games of the season. I'm not looking at the first game, especially this team's gonna meet each other. I think two more times. I mean three more times, two more times. I don't know. How many probably, times. but you know, it was but just yeah. it was just funny how that game just made everybody like on edge. Like this is it. This is gonna be great, you know. And I'm like, guys, because like, there's a lot of because I think there really is a lot of there, there are a lot of people in LA that really want the Clippers to be good and want the Clippers to be the t- be not the whipping even, boys because the Clippers used to be the whipping boys. Boys, they used to be. They used to be in the Clippers. I mean, they 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 turned that whole they turned their whole organization around, and well, not even turn it all the way around because you remember they still had Don Sterling, mm-hmm. and they were still making stupid decisions. But yeah, but still, because it was just more than just him saying I don't want you hanging around with black guys, and he's not even a known racist, but he's an asshole too. Yeah. So so it was a little bit more than that. Uh, I think, but. I think there are a lot of people that really want to see the Clippers just do good. And 
one of the better antagonists in the NBA in the last almost ten, the last what 15 16 seasons yeah. has been LeBron James. Yep. So you beat LeBron James, you somehow beat the system or whatever it is that you're trying to beat <laughs> and therefore you can say oh man LeBron's not the greatest. I feel that this is I feel like a lot of these people who hate LeBron are the same people that hate Jordan, but now Jordan's gone, they can look back and say that Jordan was a good player. Mm-hmm. I really kind of feel that way about a lot of people, especially um, especially white guys. Now, black people, I don't know, man. We're weird. Yeah, we're weird. We're weird. We're weird. But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't really too focused on that game, man. I just I, – I knew that Kawhi was going to have a big game, so it wasn't, you know – yeah, that's the guy that stopped me. 18 was the best LeBron guy. Come on, he ain't gonna get those nights all the time, man. So yeah. Um, so I guess going to NCAA football real quick. Um, so Maryland, man, y'all, y'all really just, y'all just sucking now, aren't we? You, you what just, I tell you? Just, what I tell you? Like Purdue, I, I was like, you, oh, okay. Yeah. Indiana, though, I was like, what the fuck? They were up on Indiana. That was uh, the worst part about that. They were up on those motherfuckers, man. But Maryland just did Maryland shit and just. just they're dealing with a lot. They're dealing with their, like you said, their third string quarterback. Yeah. They're still dealing with a lot of. They're still dealing with a lot of changes on the team, and you can tell that the defense is just not disciplined at all. Yeah. So it doesn't shock me that they lost to them. Yeah. You know, it's 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 stupid. Yeah, it is stupid, but you know, shit happens, man. But D, but, um, D, but D, guess what? Though, huh? real real quick though, just to meak real quick. So, but Don Cookman is making their case known that they want a bowl game. They're four and zero in the fucking MIAC. All right, I'm shocked. I'm shocked because A and T usually in first. A and T two and one. I'm like, oh, 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 shit. Okay, but don't uh, Cookman. He, all right, it's always them. Like I said, it's always it's always South Carolina or it's uh, A and T. Neither of them are being better than Cookman right now. So uh, 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 yeah. Howard's still yeah. lacking behind everybody, but you know, it is man, look, is. I'm done. I am done. <laughs> About them for right now, I really am because I feel like it's a waste of our time. We talk about, oh, wonder what they did. Oh, they lost. Yeah, they <laughs> like lost. I'm tired of doing this shit. Yeah, but anyways, um, so Ohio State's trugging along. They they just kicked the shot Northwestern. They're just bullies at this stage. They're just trying to make oh, the case uh, known. Uh, a real a, a a decent game to actually um a decent game to actually um came uh came on uh was the last Thursday man was um Lafayette and uh Arkansas State. It's not that bad man. It's always great to see these smaller teams. Lafayette won. But it's always great to see the smaller teams win. Now the big deal is the game I still haven't watched. Mm-hmm. Fucking Wisconsin getting gut punched by <laughs> Ellen Twenty four to their eyes still haven't watched Wisconsin, the highlight. Wisconsin, you were undefeated and then Illinois came in there and punched were. you in the nose. Were they won by a field goal. Took down the giant. These niggas dropped. Well, it was like ranked like four or something like that. Yep. These niggas dropped the thirteen, nigga. <laughs> no, actually, they were number six and they dropped down. So, oh, they were number six. Wisconsin were having high hopes, like maybe we might get a Rose Bowl. Nope, not nope. today. <laughs> nope. My dumb ass was looking at my my but on my dumb ass was paying paying attention to Louisville and Clemson, forgetting that um Louisville got a look at that one game. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clemson ran them the fuck over, man. Mm-hmm. Louisville, Louisville ain't gonna be right for ne- for the next couple seasons. <laughs> yeah, Washington Oregon course, was a great game. Yes, it was really good game, really good game, man. Um, Utah did work on Arizona State. I I expected that. Just didn't expect yeah, it to be twenty one three. Um, Texas Kansas, Kansas, Kansas Texas, yeah, Texas Kansas. Now, no nigga, no defense apparently. That. There was no defense play, man. Apparently, apparently Kansas have a has a bit of an air game. Apparently, they got a bit of an air game going on right now, man. And that's they just snuck. Look, look, Texas, Texas was never in trouble to me. They were never in trouble until the last quarter, where all of a sudden, Kansas is like, Kansas, we got a football team. All right, we can do this, guys. We can do it. Uh, shout out to the uh, quarterback, man. He ain't throw no in this. Exceptions or none of that, man. Yeah. He, he did pretty good, dude. But the but the name of the year goes to their running back, Puka Williams Jr. I had to say that because I was ninety yards, was, man. Hundred ninety. Yeah, I had yards. to remember. I had to remember his name because I heard it when I was looking at the. He sounds like game. a black guy. I, I, yeah, yeah, he, oh yeah, he's he's a black guy. But just the fact that his name is Puka, and I just told myself P O 
I mean, P O O K A. Puka. If that ain't the most nigger. <laughs> that sounds like something that your aunt calls you at a family reunion that, that pinches your cheeks as she says it. Yeah, oh, Puka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, but uh, Puka, but Puka, he's from New, uh, he's from um, he's from uh, New Orleans. He had to get reinstated, yeah. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I didn't look that up or nothing like that. But it is interesting because um, as a as a person that uh, had to deal with the coach that they got right now, which is Les Miles. Les Miles, I didn't know he even got hired at Kansas, yeah. and that just tells you that they're trying to do something different at that school. If they get a get a coach that won a national championship there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. You know, whatever. Speaking of LSU and our hopes to get in the, the motherfucking championship, these niggas just, yo, this is not the same. Whatever, I guess, whatever good was on Mississippi State left with Dak Prescott. I'm, oh, they haven't been the same since Dak left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't. They haven't. And um, and they fucking and when the coach left, um, fucking um. See, I'm, I always forget this dude's name when I want to say it. Whatever, the coach for Miami. I mean, my mean, I mean the coach for um, Florida. Ever since both of them left, man, it's been like that. So you know. I mean, I will say this: in two weeks, uh, that game against Alabama is going to be pivotal. Piv- pivotal. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're dealing with number one, number two. They're both for the uh, SEC, mm-hmm. and, it's, and like I said, is. It shows you how top heavy the fucking SEC is and how powerful they are compared to everybody else. And I mean, it's if you look like, at the undefeated teams right now, you have Penn State, Oklahoma, Clemson, Ohio State, LSU, and Alabama. Yeah. And all those teams seem to be the teams that you would expect to be undefeated at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Florida they, was undefeated until, you know, we talked about that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They lost to uh, LSU. Like I said, it was really good. <laughs> Just a. And not to forget, they almost lost to Florida. I mean, I mean, Florida almost lost to uh, uh, Kentucky too, man. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that should, you know, whatever. But as far as all those teams look like, it's going to be really interesting when I look at it now. Oklahoma, can they hold on? Clemson, I think they're going to hold on. Ohio State, I don't think they got, got nothing to worry about. But they got, but but here's the thing: they're going to play Wisconsin next. And the same thing goes for um. And the same thing actually goes for LSU because LSU got to go against Auburn. They ain't no easy way either. Yeah. So in Auburn, I think they're like, what are they? Knife. They're knife. Yeah. So they ain't gonna be no easy way as as well, man. Oh yeah. Also, remember Georgia was <laughs> Georgia was had <laughs> was time. undefeated and then they uh, took a well, stupid was, loss. <laughs> yeah, man. So be like I said, you there are all these teams out here that was gonna um they're gonna um really um. They got some challenges going for them because Wisconsin can easily beat Ohio State. Mm-hmm. They could probably beat them, man. But speaking the same of, thing go, huh? oh, no, no, sorry, no, 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 you good. Now, and the same thing, actually, and the same thing go for Florida, who's number seven. Yep. They lost the game, but they still got to go against Georgia. So, yeah. you know, when it comes to any of these teams losing, you know, one game could change. And like, you know, as long as you have one defeat, you're probably still all right. Probably. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, whatever. We'll see, man. But, um. So speaking of which, uh, South Carolina, uh, they got a one-year probation. Wow, what they do? So it's you know the usual. Um, so one of the assistants had um, contact with a recruit, <sighs> and that was enough to get it, mm-hmm. get a uh, fucking sanction for a year. Yeah, basically, um, South. You said basically South Carolina coach Will Muschamp can um, had. Off-campus contact with uh, recruits in a two-week contact period. And basically, you can only have contact with them in a two-week time period. After that, you can't. And apparently, he had talks with one of the recruits after that two-week window. Ah, man, well, rules is rules. Yeah. You know, so. gonna do I know, oh, yeah, of course. I know he's probably not the only coach that has done that. But, you know, yeah. when you get caught, you get caught. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that sucks. Sucks yeah. for that. But, I mean, it seems like the... Especially a black college, too, man. That sucks. I mean, but it seems like they're taking it in stride. Like, well, we fucked up. What the fuck? You know, what, what, what mean, are you going to do? There's nothing else you can do, man. You fucked up your recruiting, though. I know that much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, um, yeah. You, you, you straight up fucked up. You fucked your recruiting for a year. Yeah. But, you know, it's probably a bullet you got to have to fucking bite, man. You know? Yeah. And then um, and then we got some idiot that is putting out there that Jim Harbaugh wants to go back to the NFL. And Jim was like, fuck you. I'm not going back to the NFL. Everybody's talking about it. They're saying the same thing about John. And John's like, I'm... No, they're not going to fire me I'm from good. this job. I'm, I'm good at Michigan, dude. I'm I'm good. I'm chilling. No, I'm just, John, they, no, they're saying that John wants to go to college, and I'm like, 
or go to a different team. And I'm like, didn't the why? Raiders sign him to a long ass fucking deal? I mean, they didn't, yeah, I think that, like I think Baltimore signed him for a minute, man. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I know why it's like, Raiders. Yeah, Baltimore. So yeah, he good. He he fine. Man, look, look, look. Whatever, man. I think Jim Harbaugh going back to the NFL is such is such a fucking knee jerk reaction to motherfuck to 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 the Wolverines not being number one. I guess. Yeah, that's what it is because I remember and don't get it twisted. It's fucking hilarious about Michigan football. I saw somebody do a video on it. I was like, it's kind of funny how Michigan just like they're they're still competitive, but they're not the number one like they used to. You know, I think that it's weird that that they are that school with that much like Miami. They got that type of ego of that. Hey, we had past success, so that means we got to be successful forever and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, that was weird. Anyways, uh, NFL. Uh, there's been a lot of trades. Uh, we talked about last week with uh, with um, Ramsey going to the Rams. So yep. uh, one Emmanuel Sanders, he's leaving uh, Joe Flacco and the Denver Broncos and going to the uh, West Coast to the 49ers. Congratulations, hey. Niners! You actually got a wide hey. receiver worth the damn. I guess what I'm saying. Hey, you can't be bad at that, man. Garoppolo got somebody bigger, somebody really good to throw to, man. And man, he was saying, he was was just wasting his time in motherfucking Denver, man. He really was, man. This ain't the same Denver team that he signed up with when he first got there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Clearly, John Elway doesn't know what a quarterback is. So... And also, yeah. now, only, he and now, only thing we got left is homeboy in Arizona. I'm like, dog, go to another team and get a Super Bowl, please, for the love of God. Oh man, no, no. Fitzgerald's going nowhere. Fitzgerald's That's going loyalty nowhere. like a motherfucker, right there. Larry man. ain't going nowhere. That, yeah, yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, would it be would it been sad if we if would it be sad if he was loyal as hell to them and we find out he had like two divorces and shit? Wouldn't that be just terrible? <laughs> Now, here's the thing. Um, also, too, and I'm looking at Atlanta. This is the most Atlanta shit I've ever seen. Atlanta is giving up Mohamed Sanu to the New England yeah. Patriots, and I'm like, you fucking idiots. Why? I know, he, I, know he is not, I know he is not Julio Jones. I understand that. But why would you give Patriots another weapon? Granted, Josh Gordon is out for the season because of a knee injury, but still. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Maybe Atlanta hasn't learned a lesson after being up twenty-eight to three. <laughs> Maybe they haven't. I'm learned sorry, dude. Lesson. That is the most that they are cursed after that twenty-eight to three. They have not been the same. They have not uh, been the same, man. It's like, dog, did, uh, did that shit really kill know. you? <laughs> little do we know, and I say this, God forbid, knock on wood, but little do we know. Matt Ryan developed a tumor that night. <laughs> he doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> and then we got Quandre Diggs, who apparently he did not know he was going to get traded to the Seahawks from the Lions. That sucks. He was just like, it was just like, yeah, um, they just told me, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to sign an extension. And then they just said, yeah, uh, you're going to the Seahawks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pete Carroll was just like, I didn't think we were going to get digs, but all right, cool. Yeah, we got a real there shaking hands and shit. <laughs> chewing, his gum, <laughs> chewing his gum, as he always does. You know what? I was um, looking at something not too long ago. It was, uh, uh, it was on um, YouTube by TIFO Football, um, little soccer um, channel. It helps me learn a lot about the game itself and different things, of course, I didn't know about because – the second I hear a lot of Spanish names and a lot of Brazilian names, I kind of draw a blank, to be honest with you. We all so, do. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gave it over to my team. Unless it's, unless it's, Tro- unless it's Troy Palomaro. That's about the only person. No, no, he's like this. When it, comes, no, when it comes to like hearing all these uh, different soccer names, I just go, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, one thing they were talking about, though, it was about the transfer window, which is the trading period, where – it's a lot different. Instead of you getting traded, it's just more so your sports agent or your agent or a team going to you say, hey, we can get more money at this team than that team. No one signs long-term contracts. They can break them for certain reasons and different stuff like that. But they were talking about the ridiculous shit that they be hearing. And one in um, the Atlantic and in England, they just put up a, uh, a story about this too. About it was talking about how the different things they hear during the um, whole transfer period. And one, per, one um. Oh exec- shit! 
Sorry, Nationals up 2-0 already. Don't do that to me. You just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Sorry, Nationals up 2-0 <laughs> off the break. Like, god damn. Shit. God damn, man. Don't scare sorry, scared sorry, scared sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I knew, no, no. I knew it was a game. I knew it was a game, but you just scared me. <laughs> no, sorry. It's just, I, it, it, it popped up on my screen. ESPN, I, for some dumbass reason, said I want notifications. And then all of a sudden, Nats up 2-0. I was like, whoa, shit. All right. <laughs> but uh, nah, this right. About, nah, they were talking about how the ridiculous shit they be hearing. And um, one um, sports, uh, not sport, uh, one um, teammate uh, agent was talking about how that, you know, everybody gets an incentive and all that. And, you know, you be hearing stuff like um, one, they had to deny this one guy because he wanted all business, uh, business class flights for his parents to fly to all the games that he go to. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no. And then you hear another one is saying like, like when it's like a big tournament game, they give out four free tickets to that for, for the player's family. But then you hear stories like, no, I need 16 to bring my whole family from Africa up here. It's like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not fucking happening. Then you hear one, then one person said, I will agree to be on your team. If you pay off all my debts I got from the divorce. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, no, 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 I know you said okay, but if I... No, nigga. <laughs> no. Do you, like, the, the most minor one I heard was a lot of the players wanting their wives to get jobs locally there at the at the teams. And I, I was like, that's that's actually nice. That's I think very that's fair. Be that's very that fair. That sounds fair as shit. Why y'all? Why did you say no? <laughs> it's like she works. She works for you guys. It's a win win. Like, come on, man. Man, no one, Like this is America. Like I, right, she gonna be working at the Seven Eleven around the corner. <laughs> For <laughs> the stadium, shit. but I don't know, man. It's just like you just hear they just, it was just so many different uh, stories about how people just have these different stories of how fucked. Like, good example is this. Actually, here's a one fucked up example. One of the agents for a player that the team wanted was just an asshole. This motherfucker straight up said, "Unless I get a hundred k, a hundred thousand pounds right now, you're not getting that player." So come to find out, come to find out, they did it anyway and all the rest of that. And the player didn't learn about this until years later. And he said, dude, I would have I would have crawled to get here. I didn't care what he made. He got how much of me? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like sports agents are sports agents no matter what. Jerry Maguire motherfuckers are just killed, man. Drew Rosenhaus had to do that a few players. I'm sorry, hey, I, th- I, th- I really think Fitzgerald has a Jerry Maguire person. Like, come on, Jerry. Get me get me a big money with the freaking damn Arizona Cardinals, baby. Let's go. My life. I love the dry heat. Let me just stay out <laughs> Please. I'm here in Glendale for the rest of my life. Waste of my time. <laughs> All right, but anyways, let's talk, let's talk about this. Um, so I'm sitting up there laughing at the scores that's happening here because um, the Madden curse finally caught up with Mahomes. He is uh, he got injured against the Broncos. Granted, the the hindsight to that is he's out for a month. Yeah, so this, um, but no, the Broncos no. could not take advantage of that because the Chiefs kept I'm chugging like, along. It ain't like it matters, man. You know what? Look. Look, I think a lot of people have finally figured it out, and it's a good thing that they figured it out. John Elway doesn't know what a quarterback is. <laughs> that, he thought he part. thought he can get an old, surly veteran to lead the team to victory, and it's like, that's not the way. It's not on. even that. I just think this motherfucker really thinks that he knows football so well that he can stick anybody in that position in a world work for him. How sad is it, even though I know Tim Tebow was not the quarterback that that team needed, he was the best thing they had, and he despised it. He was so fucking annoyed. It's like, when they won that wild card weekend, he was sitting up there with a disapproving stare, like, this son of a bitch got us a win. Fuck him. Like, like, I, like how is that even possible? You can't even, like, because you... You just really claim yourself to be a a, a quarterback a quarterback a quarterback genius and know everything about it. You can't get. 
I think Jordan has that same problem when he picked players too. <laughs> well, he did draft Kwame Brown, sir. So you know. Yeah, that. I know, right? I know, right? Speaking of which, that clip that uh, he was talking about all the young, like, yeah, man, you know, you know, he ain't a Hall of Famer, yeah. <laughs> Negro, you like, drafted Kwame Brown, but somehow you know he was a Hall of Famer. Get the fuck out of my face, dude. Like Jordan, <laughs> like here's the thing about that gets me with Jordan, man. I think Jordan. Jordan has only has earned a lot of the cockiness. Of course he has. Oh, yeah, I know that. Jordan, he's earned a cockiness. I don't think nobody's going to uh, 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 fucking um, correct you on that. Where I think where it really gets annoying is that Jordan, in, in him doing it sometimes, it's really him holding back the other generation that do stuff way better than him. Mm-hmm. And it's not like one individual. It's not like, you know, the whole game because that's where we get in the whole game with him and LeBron. Because him and LeBron are two different players, though. Mm-hmm. I think LeBron wishes he had Jordan's fucking drive. But Jordan's drive made him an asshole to everybody. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why Jordan doesn't hang out with a lot of people that he used to play with in the NBA. There's a reason behind a lot of that shit. Sure, he's a billionaire now. And he's... You know, he's rich. That's yeah. a different shit we don't know nothing about. But still, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's, he was never that type of player, man. He wasn't Shaq. Yeah. Shaq was charismatic and do all that amazing shit. Jordan, it was funny about Jordan's charisma. Jordan's charisma was purely him on that court because I thought he was the greatest person ever. And even the story we hear about how uh, Iverson said the first time, he's like, hey, what's up, short bitch? Like, God damn. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's funny. That's hilarious. Now, take away the basketball shoes. He's an asshole. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So it it, it makes me feel that Jordan holds a lot of people back just by being him, man. Like, I feel that Kobe's going to turn into the same thing. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I will say this. I will give Jordan this. He's not bitter, though. Nah. No, nah, I mean you Jordan win. <laughs> you win His, six championships. I mean, why would you be bitter? Oh yeah, there's no exactly. There's no bitterness with Jordan at all. I can say that he doesn't say it out of spite. He says it as a competitor that I'm not going to be like, nah, fuck it. He ain't better than me, and I totally get that. I totally get this. LeBron need to be like that. Why he needs to be like Jordan? Why does Kobe need to be like Jordan? We see you see how that kind of I mean, held Kobe back a little bit. But but once he dropped that, you know. Was it eighty something points? I mean, that's that's the closest yeah, you're gonna get to that. That's something Jordan never did. That's something Jordan never did. I thought I thought Kobe was a much better dunker than, than Jordan, man. man. Hell, I think LeBron's a better dunker than Jordan, man. But you know, oh, you can't say that jump man sign. Fuck you. <laughs> like, but dude, this is where I have to put my um, cowboy hat on. Hey, Elway, Tony Romo is a better quarterback assessor than you are. Yes, he is, man. Speaking of that cowboy hat, you might as well keep it on. Nigga, you and I right now are confusing the hell out of everybody because you decided to be like me this week. My mood is Michael Irvin. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you something. Don't tell me shit. Let me tell they you something. Ran them niggas I blinked over. I blinked for a second. Turn around. The fucking Eagles fumbled the ball. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The game just started. What the hell just Man, happened? <laughs> how you think I felt when that happened? Dude? Because the second I, uh, I, because, because of course I lost my fucking game at, uh, at all fantasy football. The second I cut that thing on, right? Uh, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I'm sorry. I lost that nigga fantasy football. I cut it on. I saw above there, you know, watched it on uh, Eagles and Cowboys. I click on that first thing. That, and uh, wait a minute, the Eagles. Dallas, we're coming to football at already, nigga. It's over. <laughs> I mean, it was like, just it was, and, and, and you know what? It was it was it was the equivalent to how Dallas was against the Jets. It's like as soon as like Dallas got them two touchdowns, it's like they sapped all the energy from the Eagles. I didn't. You know what? Who is the? You know the question is this: Who's the blame? Should we blame Doug Peterson for talking all that shit? <laughs> Doug Peterson, come on now, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's all on Doug Peterson. I'm not even gonna blame Wentz. I like Brandon Wentz hasn't been that. the same since the injury, but I'm putting it all on Doug Peterson. He got the motherfuckers hyped up, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh, oh. Damn. I like how you backtrack that shit, though, man. It's like, nah, nigga, don't like backtrack. Don't I'm backtrack now, dog. Don't do that shit. I like how you backtrack that shit. Like, well, you know, yeah, that was, you know, I didn't want to say that, but we are going to have all offensive. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> like you go ahead and support your squad, man. We ain't nobody gonna say nothing about you, man. Hey, duh. but you know what? He got y'all murdered. And I like to say this, Chris. 
You do realize that Dallas has just bodied the whole NFC East, right? They're about to do it again against the Giants. Knock on wood, but they're about to do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Daniel Jones is not about to go. It's not about to go Hulk Hogan running wild on us. <laughs> that's not that's not, not about to happen. <laughs> Hey, Dallas look, look, would have to do look, what they did. I'm Dallas treading carefully. What they did with still, the Jets. I'm still treading carefully, though. I'm not going to sit there and say it's a guarantee. I'm going to tread carefully from here on out with Dallas. It's like, nothing's guaranteed. Because you know what's going to be funny, though? When they face the fucking Patriots and everybody's like, oh, the Patriots going to watch Dallas and Dallas end up watching the Patriots. Everybody's like, oh, shit. I need to see, look, because that's another game where I am really mean it, man. I'm going into that game. Michael Irvin, Coke nose, sweating. <laughs> How about them cowboys? Look <laughs> on my face, cause no son. By the time me and you would like, skip Bayless I, easily Monday morning, yo, son, <laughs> son. I knew first off. Shout out to Skip. Uh, this is about a couple weeks back. He was wearing the all black with the Jordans and the, a little necklace that uh, what's the face game? I forgot who gave him that necklace. Drip, drip Bayless. No, 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 no. Actually, no. The necklace that he had on now is the one Little Wayne just gave him. But it was something else. He a little said to me. I was like, yo, I'm sorry, but I, I had a bit like, yo, Drip Bayless, nigga. That shit looks. <laughs> I am not even faking. That's not even him being the, because. Oh man, you kiss his ass. He's like the. Uh, he likes the uh, Dallas. Here's me, nigga. He hate LeBron, and I can't stand it when he starts talking about it. <laughs> so LeBron James, I'm like guys. LeBron is not LeBron. No, like LeBron went out there and did what I expected him to do. If that was Michael Jeffrey Jordan. <laughs> Je- emphasis on Jeffrey, guys. Emphasis on Jeffrey. Yeah, emphasis on Jeffrey. But yo, um, okay, to talk about the game itself, um, notice that notice notice what happened. Zeke ran a lot, number one. Mm-hmm. Tim and, and Pollard. Tim and Pollard. We always and we always and we in Dallas knows this. Opponents know this. Everybody knows this except the fucking on um, play callers on Dallas knows this. When we run Zeke a lot, we win. <laughs> And also, when Dak right. actually runs, he get he he throws the defense off, and he can actually. Open oh, that's what I'm up. saying. Like, All right, cool. Because of that, because of Zeke doing that, the whole offense opens up, and that's the, and Dallas's offense when it's op- when it opens up, it's fucking scary. Because Cobb can Cobb can hurt you. We might run a reverse and give it to Tavon Austin like we did this past week, and what happened? He juke you out your shoes and get a touchdown. <laughs> I'm about to say. Then you get then the fact that you got Dak. I'm um, Dak. Even if he runs, even if we're not really pumping on the running game, Dak will still run off pretty good. But Dak is one of those quarterbacks. Oh God, don't get him running. Don't get <laughs> Dak running because Dak has Dak has proven that not only is he durable, but he ain't scared of one motherfucker on the other side of that field. Mm-hmm. So don't do that. And a fact, I'm sorry. How are we forgetting about Amari Cooper? Uh, that catch that he, that, that catch, scary. did you see that catch on the sideline that looked like from the one angle, it looked like he was out of bounds? And when yeah, he cut it I over, was, I was like, how the fuck he catch that shit? God he damn. Thought he thought it, but real talk, I would have, no, he didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but we here at Work and Tire Sports Show, we're biased, so we're just going to be like, he caught that hey, shit. No, no, I, look, I ain't biased. Look, look, I'm being real. Like, you already know me when it comes to that. Look, when it comes to my, my squad and there's a foul, and we did it. I'm gonna admit that we did it. But there's, then there's sometimes where it's like bullshit. I know what I saw. That one, we got away with that. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we got away with that. <laughs> we did, but like I said, they, they, the Eagles, their, their, their whole thing was sucked. But speaking of which, the Eagles are are caving in. Yeah, I, t- I told you last in. year. Now here's the thing. Last year it was the same way where Dallas needed to beat the Eagles because it was a turning point for both teams. The only difference is the Eagles don't have Nick Foles to kind of mar- rally the troops together. They don't have that person. I don't even think it's Nick Foles, man. I just feel like this team is not the same squad. They're getting hurt earlier this year. They have already shown that they're very and beatable. And Dallas gets two weeks to rest everybody. Everybody, nigga. Wow. Holy and that's crap. the and that's the key thing about Dallas this season. There hasn't been any major injuries per se. It's just people are injured to where they might need a week to kind of like chill yeah. out for like a bit. Tyron Smith, like Tyron Smith, he, I feel so bad for this nigga every season because it always feels like he's in constant pain, man. Doesn't it? Yeah. He always gets hurt every season, man. But 
you see how different the game flows when he's blocking physique yeah. because he, he's right there. Oh man, even not even blocking physique, the the protection that he gives Dak. Oh my God! When man. he's well rested and he's basically ninety five percent, he'll give you he'll give, he'll help you out. And when we're grinding on the field, the defense is just chilling, resting. They can actually take time because oh my, like I said, when Dallas when Dallas has that run game, man. It's very hard to stop us. This is incredibly hard to stop us, man. So, um, D, uh, the Lord giveth and the Lord have taken away. And when it comes to the Jets, the Jets really thought they had something that they beat Dallas. And then the Patriots took them back down to earth immediately. Which is good. Jump. Which is good. <laughs> Which is good. No, I didn't expect it to be this bad, though. I was like, God damn. That's the funny thing about, about sports in general to me. Every dog has his day. And... That was their day against Dallas. They look like superstars. Okay. Crash back to Earth. <laughs> Dude, crash back to Earth, man. Yo, Patriots went pa- Patriots went to Jersey and was like, hey dog, y'all thought y'all were hot shit? Nah, bro. Watch this. Hey, what's up? Hey nigga, run the, hey, hey, run the, <laughs> Run that shit back. <laughs> run, run the park. Run the pockets, bro. <laughs> I was like, dog, it's like every... It's basically what Dallas should have did against the Jets. You know, anyways, to a point. So it's like, damn, that could have been Dallas. That could have been Dallas, but it is what it that is. Been but, um, we could have been that team. We could have been that team not dealing with the, like, We could have been running them over, taking pitches in the end zone and all that shit. That yeah. could have been us. But speaking of uh, AFC East, uh, so Buffalo is really trying to make the case that they, they are, they're real. You know what, look, look. Even Pinocchio had a case, okay? So let's not... I mean, their defense is making a case for him. It's just that offense is just, yeah, yeah. I know offense is ugly, man. But you know what, look, at least, at least they're trying, man. I give it up to Buffalo, man. Like I said, yeah. they're not that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like oh. I said, man, when it, hey, look, Cole Beasley, he, he's doing the Lord's work for Buffalo. You know, he's, he's, he's doing something, so, yeah. Great. That's I mean, awesome. at least, I mean, I mean, at least, yeah, I'm saying at least he's catching. <laughs> yeah. <I> just, um, <laughs> apparently, also speaking of catching, um, Stefan Diggs is even more happy because Kirk Cousins is on fire. And they're gonna come to Washington next week. Oh no, this Thursday, dude. Did, did you know? Did oh you yeah, know? I'm gonna start tomorrow. It's Woo! tomorrow. Yeah. I already put Cousins in my fucking Yahoo. Fucking uh, starting him. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be Christmas. All right, you know that oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, man, I feel that I feel as though that I feel as though that with um who is it uh the the the, the Vikings, man, they are they I still don't know what they are. They're they're, they're trying to I, figure it out, but they're they're, they're making it work. <laughs> they're trying their best, man. They get, Lord knows they're trying, man. But I like I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck they are, and I don't think a lot of people do. I know they're a team that killed a lion. That's all I know. <laughs> 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 Nigga, that went hard. That went hard. The bear. Look now. Here's the funny thing. The Bears losing to the Saints was a bit of. At least the way it was done was a bit of surprise. And then I thought to myself, who the fuck's their quarterback? D. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> who? By the way, by the way, um, there was a story that came out that the Bears could have got Mahomes. Yeah, I know. And but I'm sitting there, and that's a sto- that's one of those stories that it's like, yo, somebody in the Bears front office should just shut the fuck up and not said nothing. They should have. They should have, but, you know. We could have got Mahomes, but, you know, we went with Trubisky. I'm like, you dumb motherfuckers, man. You know what? The only thing, uh, I, I, mean, I hate to circle back, but, uh, yeah, um, um, yeah, I was really hoping Miami did beat Buffalo. but <laughs> Hey, Fitz, Fitz, Fitz magic happened. Fitz exception happened, and there you go. I mean. Yo, he, man, Fitz, look, look, man. He, he, like you said, Lord, give him and take him away. <laughs> but, um. But no, the the Bears just looked in. They weren't ready. They really looked like they weren't ready to come out there and play. Now they did start that game off pretty damn well, man, yeah. with a you know and all that shit. But oh my God, Teddy Bridgewater he's, is going to be he's fine. keeping that team afloat till Breeze is coming he, back. And I mean, yep, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine from here on out in his career because he's already proven that he can carry a team. He's not a backup. We all know he's not a backup. So here's the kicker. Say if this if this trajectory holds, right, and say they get into the playoffs, do you see? Because most people would be like, if Elway gets out of his own fucking way, Bridgewater could easily lend the Denver Broncos to a decent season. I don't know. 
I don't fucking know because you just said you just hit hit the nail on the head right there. Can Elway get out of his own way? Can the organization tell Elway to shut the fuck up? Exactly. <laughs> it's it's like, like, like and I gotta be honest with you, just as far as any of our friends and us, nobody knows the organization like that to know if that's yeah. ever gonna fucking happen. Yeah. So you know, you know, what is what it is, man. Um, shout outs go to the fucking Texans for proving to me that uh, Jacoby Brissett, Jacoby Brissett might be the magical Negro of the year. He might be. <laughs> yeah, he is. Woo! Because you do all the, because you do the shit that he. I mean, that's a lot of fucking. Was that three, three twenty six, mm-hmm. four touchdowns, man? He had a perfect game. The nigga had a pretty much perfect game, man. Mm-hmm. So high QBR rating for that uh, for that weekend, actually. Yep. Yeah, I think it was up between him and Stafford for the QBR rating and stuff, basically. Yeah, I mean, yo, you can't beat that shit, man. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, no, Aaron Rodgers won the weekend because he had 429 yards against the Raiders. So, Raiders Nation, second, you're you're 500 now, so you're humbled. For the second time in my life, I have had a friend go to a Redskin game and it rained, and he took a picture of the stands. I have a, my friend Quan, if you listen, what's up, Quan? That's my nigga right there. Um, he's a four, he's a Niners fan, been one all his life. Mm-hmm. Um, from here, from DC, but uh, he can't say the rest kids like a bunch of like a bunch like the rest of us. <sighs> but he went to the ga- he went to the game and is out there raining and all the rest of that shit. There was so 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 little people there. <laughs> I mean, it's raining. The field, the rest, the rest field. Blame- the Redskin field has been infamous for looking shitty, especially when it's shitty weather like rain. I remember oh, when I, I remember when Dallas was playing and they had won that game twenty four to three. That was the messiest field when it was said and done. Like I remember I would, when Romo uh, threw that when Romo threw that uh, pass to um, Terrence Williams that opened it up to them getting that you know go ahead touchdown from uh, Demarco Murray. I remember when Terrence Williams caught that. I was like, if the, if the field was in good condition, he would have gotten in for a touchdown, but he kept slipping when he caught the ball, and I was like, fuck, the goddamn yeah. field. Their, their field is kind of weird, man, because, you know, it's the funny thing. I can I never really truly saw that field look I've pristine ever. Uh, last time it looked pristine was back when Steve Spurrier was playing. Don't, don't, don't you dare do that. It didn't look that bad. It don't look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over exaggerating here, folks. So you don't, probably don't, are, don't mind me. Yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's a part. Here's a sad part. You probably are, but then again, you're probably incredibly accurate. So, <laughs> like, out. like, like it bounced out. I think, like I said, that that field looks so ugly. That it was game like a was fucking ugly. slip and slide, fucking thing. Like it was too, folks. The game was so ugly that the Redskins could have beat the 49ers. And it was just like, it was just, like, if Adrian Peterson didn't fumble the ball, the Redskins would have had the only touchdown of that game. And, yo, yo, to be real honest, man, Adrian did do the nice, not Adrian, I'm sorry, the 49ers did do the really nice thing several times in this game. They were clearly trying to give the game to the Redskins. And the Red, it's like, hey, guys, you want to win? We give it to you. Here. Well, now we're sitting here with a whole lot of uh, 49ers hit fans with a big-ass head right now. Because these motherfuckers have not lost the game yet. I feel it's going to be a Saxonville situation. Wow, I did say Saxonville. God damn. Um, it's going to be a Jaguar situation where I really feel... I, I don't know why you took that back. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, you know what? You I, specified the error. You specified that they're error. Gonna, they, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Right. I think 49ers are going to be like Saxonville where they're going to be feeling themselves. And then when they hit the playoffs, they're going to get punched in the damn mouth by a team that they didn't expect to happen. Well, to make you feel better, they do play their rivals later on this year. What, the um, Seahawks? No, us. Yeah, that's going to be the game because I got to buy a lot of people that are like, oh, man, we're going to beat Dallas. If Dallas beat the 49ers, that's going to fucking distraught them big time, man. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, man, look, look. To me, 49 has been through so much pain and misery the last few seasons. I think if they just get close, they'd be. <laughs> oh no, I'm not saying they should have any misery. Don't get it twisted. You know, I, I would never wish that on anything. I don't know. If oh they... no, I don't. No, no, I kind of do. Fuck them. <laughs> I mean, look, I was sort of rooting for them in the, in the Super Bowl, but I was kind of like, no, go... I don't think we do play them. No, we don't play them this year. We don't play them this year. I thought we did. I, mean, no, I was kind of sort of rooting for them in the, in the Super Bowl, but then again, I was like, come on, Ray Lewis, get that last ring so you can dip out, please. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Like they gotta play the Cardinals next. Then they gotta play the Seahawks and the Cardinals 
again. Then the Packers. That's going to be a big game. That's on the uh, that's on uh, November twenty fourth. Then they play. Then now here's December. Sorry, I have not I have not moved the entire time. But what they the got they got anyway, stack, uh, stack December man. Ravens, Saints, Falcons, Rams, and Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's that's crazy. Pretty hard. Actually, before that, they got to go against the Packers, and the Packers are being the most. Oh God, the, the I guess the football god, gods love them because they have not they they're not it's that the luck good. Of, it's the luck of the Irish. They are not that good. And I feel that's racist somehow with this team. But anyway, <laughs> eh, not really. But not really. They're not that good though. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. but I mean, it is what it is and stuff. But um. Speed of it, so <laughs> Cardinals Giants. Let me tell you something. The Cardinals are feeling themselves. I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. They're taking every they're taking every advantage they got, and they're a five hundred team right now. They're on a really good high right now. I don't blame them. I don't blame and them look, whatsoever. And look, and Kyler Murray has been playing like dog shit, but it doesn't matter. Even, even with the Giants having their Lord and Savior Saquon Barkley playing, and he looked pretty good for somebody that was just injured, it didn't matter. It matter. You know, it's, it's always sad when you got a, a a game breaker like Saquon, and they do absolutely nothing for the team. Man, Golden Golden Tate almost getting hundred yards didn't amount to anything when it came. Didn't mean to didn't mean shit. Didn't mean shit. That team is terrible. <laughs> terrible teams lose. No, for real. Terrible teams lose. There's no way of get right, getting around that, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, Ravens Seahawks went in a way that I did not expect, and the Ravens end up punching the teeth in on the Seahawks. And I was like, wow, okay. Clearly, the Ravens defense is like that. Clearly, the Ravens defense is lucky. It's like I'm like not in that. I feel like the Ravens <laughs> like are the Ravens now. All right. Fun little thing I learned about this. I learned about this. This is what happens when you live with Steelers fans. Um, my wife got into it with one of her friends who was a Ravens fan, and he was basically saying, "We well, at least we're not as dog shit as you." And my wife was like, "Nigga, we were never as terrible as you ever been." They was like, "What you talking about, man? Y'all been sorry for this amount of time." And as you hear the story, of the dude talking, it's some of the most delusional shit. <laughs> And I was like, this, like that's not even true, man. Like at the very worst, y'all went like six and whatever. And Angie's brother was in the room. He's like, uh, no, no, we did. The worst we ever did was uh eight and eight. I'm like, bullshit. I looked it up. Why do Steeler fans complain about anything? I don't know. They're they're like a permanent playoff team. Yeah, they the really time, are. <laughs> and look, and check it out. In the time that in the two times they didn't make the playoffs. It was an eight and eight season, and the other one they won ten games and still didn't make it into the um, playoffs. Mm-hmm. So even then, why do y'all complain about anything? Yeah, holy shit! Like, do you know how many people would kill to have that fucking uh, type of um, the kill to have that type? I I am a Cowboys fan. We live between nine, I mean seven and nine, and ten and six. We live in that. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers go to the playoffs every single year, but bitch, because y'all can't beat the Patriots. Well, <laughs> facts is facts. Y'all can't beat yeah, the Patriots. Yeah, you really kind of mean. But, but I mean. my point is, it killed me. Like, you're, like, you're hearing the Raven dude, just the dude, like, like, Ravens talking all that shit. I decided to look up what the worst of Ravens is. The Ravens have had some dog shit years. So, it what it really turns out to be, Chris... It's one of the most amazing, most lopsided arguments I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm you no, know, and I was thinking to myself, but this is how it sounds like when the Eagles and the Cowboy fans talk. Exactly. I mean, look, did you see that video of that <laughs> Eagles fan that was like crying in the interview when the Eagles lost and stuff? And he was like, "Hey, you want to sing the Eagles song?" And he saw singing the Eagles song. It was the most saddest shit ever. <laughs> did you see? The, but all right, all right. Look, look. I am judging the even hat that he had. I'm not judging that. Fuck all that. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Fans do stupid shit. You know, it's all good. But the fact that he turned it on and he was flying and it looked happy. This <laughs> Jordan cry face. Well, he goes fly. <laughs> it reminded me of Bill Murray from Space Jam. He's like, let's go, Bulls. <laughs> Yo, like I said. 
Eagles fan. I am not judging the Eagles hat. In fact, I would rock that shit if I was an Eagles fan. No bullshit. I would too. I would. I would. You know what those Cowboy fans do? We get big fuck off, fuck off, fuck off uh, uh, 10 gallon hats with a big ass Dallas star looking like a complete jackass. <laughs> we know what we're looking at, but we love our squad. I'm not judging that. Those are some what sexy I ass. Am? Those are some sexy ass tears, though, D. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> My man. No, Chris. No, what's going on? Yo. <laughs> it's an amazing, it's an amazing clip. It is truly an amazing clip. It really is. And this and I don't know if it speak see, I think it's unfair to put that all on Philadelphia fans. But I kind of think this is just as to their lore. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of does because because Eagles fans are some of the most psychotic motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> I really do think they do cry when they lose to us now. Now I really see they started it. I mean, if you really look at they it and stuff, it. if you really wow. if you look at the whole if you really I mean, before we get back to the last game and stuff, if you really look at Dak's statistics when he got into the NFL uh-huh. He has a very good record on a good chunk of teams since he's been starting with the Cowboys. Unknowingly, yeah, like against the I Eagles, think I think he's like five and one against the Eagles or some shit like I that. I think we lost. Two, I think we lost probably a couple. At the very most, probably three. He probably. Yeah, we're talking about lost 2016. Three. He beat the Eagles. Twi- no, 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 no. He's like five and one against the Eagles. Woo! Yeah, he lost to the Redskins only once, <laughs> which was bull- the actually, Giants- actually twice. The first one was oh. just bullshit, but whatever. And the second one was like, really? He gets penalized for a field goal for adjusting the oh, football? Yeah, Come yeah, on. it was two times. It was two times. So, all right, all right, all right. So, the Giants, we <laughs> had to lose to them. Ooh. We've only lost to them Because the Giants have been bad. One the Giants have been bad since since Dak got into the league. Oh, the actually, Giants yeah, have yeah, been yeah. Dak's, yeah, Dak's, Dak's been owning the NFC East. Since he's been in, it's like unknowingly, yeah, I, I, yes. I, I expect that. I, but, but here's the thing: there's just real talk, and everybody makes fun of us for saying this shit. But it's true. He did kind of get, um, he did kind of come in on a great situation. That team that he won all that with was Tony Romo's team, and he took it. Mm-hmm. And, and ran with it. You know, <laughs> and ran with it. That was Tony's team. Tony probably would. Now, real talk: Tony would have probably took us to the Super Bowl, maybe. <laughs> okay, all right. That's a Dallas fan talking. I'll leave that there. But still, um, my pervading still, theory is yeah. still that if Dallas got to the Super Bowl, Jerry Jones will sign Tony Romo for a one-day contract just to get his ass on the field. <laughs> now, Tony, I ain't doing this for. Now, now, Tony, I told you I kept my word. We're in the Super Bowl now. You can be on the sideline. You do realize I work for CBS Sports. I can't be out there, right? I don't care what you said, boy. You're going to be, <laughs> You're going to be no, a Super Bowl ring. No, no, oh, hold on, Eric. Hold on, Chris. This does go into our theory about Jerry Jones. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Steven, could you just leave for a second to let me let be me and Tony? He closed the door. Let me tell you something, you half spick. You're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Tony is just Tony is just looking at him like, God damn it, Jerry! God damn it! Yeah, Tony, he's just, you know, and Tony like, you know, Tony sitting there like, 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 Tony like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry's still talking. Tony's like, like for real, Jerry, are you dropping? Are you really doing this? The racial thing. Well, I told you when you came in here, I don't trust you have you have border jumpers at all, do I? You have border jumpers. Wow, Jerry, do you realize how racist you sound? I'm not racist. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> oh, that hurt me. Ow, that hurt me. Ah. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God, <laughs> that, hurt, that, that hurt the ghost of Troy Aikman, and he's still alive. <laughs> you said the ghost of Troy Aikman. You know who that really hurt? You know who that really hurt? <laughs> what about ancestors Lynch? <laughs> His body is still in the Mississippi River. Nah, Damn! I took it. I took it a step further. <laughs> take it a step further. Somewhere, Quincy Carter's chilling with his kids, watching football, and he hears that shit, and he's like, "Ah, ah, I sense a disturbance. Ah, Jerry, ah, Jerry." Uh. <laughs> 
What are you uh, doing? Jerry said something again. Quincy, what's your problem here? Bitch, just give me the cocaine. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> sorry, that's terrible, dude. Let me tell you something, folks. Quincy, 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 Quincy got off Quincy, 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 Quincy got off coke. Good for him. Good Quincy, for him. Quincy man. got off coke, but people forget. Quincy Carr did coke and won some games with the Cowboys on coke. I'm just Let's saying, man. Let's make this <laughs> clear. Let's make this very clear. One of his better games, I remember, it was against the Panthers, and he actually did very good. And everybody was talking about, oh, black quarterback this, black quarterback that. Because, you know, back then, it was a novelty to be a nigga. Yeah, especially on the Cowboys. Cowboys. Especially on the Cowboys. (laughs) Still on the Cowboys. That was like seeing a man walk on the moon. That shit ain't supposed to happen. (laughs) It really ain't. So, so, yeah, it was just, yo, look, look, all right, all right. But last last game, um, um... uh, Chargers Titans, and I'm looking at the Chargers like Chargers. That was your game to win. Now you're that's just hilarious. That was just that wow. Was hilarious. How do you punch it in three times and don't even get in? Like you didn't even try to jump over everybody. You're just like, no, we're gonna I'm punch gonna it make in. Make it very clear. No, let's make it even more clear. Let's make it all clear. I already told, we already know that Darwin James not being there and half of the defense being hurt. We already knew that this wasn't the same Charger team. And it clearly isn't because they couldn't stop the Titans from scoring. If this was last year, this they would have won and the Titans would only score like nine points. Yeah. This is clearly not the same Chargers team. And I'm afraid that they are going to be on the bubble trying to get into the wild card this year. They'll get a wild card spot. They're, 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 I don't know if they – look, look, look. See, easy with that though, nigga. Because you know the way they – you know, you know why I say that? You know why I say that? And I'm going to make it a bold prediction right here, right now. All right. I'm bold, listening. Bold, bold prediction here. All right. So, when you look at the AFC right now, right, um, I sense Buffalo's going to have a fucking meltdown. That's not even – see, that's not even a bold prediction. That sounds like Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. You know, t- that sounds like just, to be honest club. with you, to be honest with you, I think the only one that's a lock right now is Houston. Yeah. Houston, I think of all Raiders, the teams. Raiders, okay. yeah, Jaguars, yeah, yeah. No. Tennessee, yeah. I mean Tennessee, it's like they got they got to go, they got to bet on Buffalo melting down, Oakland melting down, and Jacksonville melting down. So all right, let's see here. There's uh, all right, the four teams that are going to make it, of course, the champions, whoever they are. Patriots, Chiefs, <laughs> Ravens, Colts, so right now. Those that's are the four. That's what I'm saying. Not counting them. Not counting them. I'm just going to list off the teams that I think can get into the wild card. AFC East, just one. AFC North, I'm going to be real with you. Just the Ravens. I don't see nobody from the NFC North. I mean, Ooh. AFC North, outside of the champion, whoever is going to be making it to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. The NFC, the uh, the South, you got you, the South? Yeah, there's going to be a team that's going to try to come out the South. Mm-hmm. And then you have the Chargers. It's going to be between three teams that are going to try to go for, fight for the wild card. I have a feeling the Chargers ain't going to make it. Mm, yeah. I already got a feeling they're going to be the Chargers. I think Buffalo will make it in before the Chargers. Yeah, you're right. I mean, but that's still, the way the, I feel. I could be wrong, and I could be wrong with that, man. Yeah, but I mean, but the Chargers—that was a game that they really needed. They really <laughs> needed that game. And how much? Now I got a question. How much? How big of a bullshit would everybody scream if <laughs> somehow, some way? <laughs> the Steelers made it into the wild card. I got a feeling everybody like, how did they make it? Man, Mike Tomlin will be sitting up there, number one, be pissed but happy at the same time. Like, son of a bitch. Man, man, no, I think Tomlin would be very, very satisfied with himself. Eating a bucket of chicken shirtless in the <laughs> locker room. <laughs> Great game, guys. <laughs> Great game, guys. We're getting guys purposely getting grease all over Ben Roethlisberger's locker. locker. <laughs> ben can't do shit because Mike Tomlin's giving him the Sam Jackson to stare the whole time while eating chicken. Play off without you. Remember that shit you said on the radio show? You don't. Oh, you think? Oh, you think I don't listen? <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the radio. Negroes listen to the radio. Ben, you know Black that, people right? listen to the radio. Who told you that we didn't? <laughs> oh man, let's get to these picks. Um, yes, sir. Let's get to these picks. <laughs> Uh, the wash of Thursday. The Vikings are beating the Redskins. <laughs> nah, I think I don't think there's even a I don't think there's a chance that the wa- that the Redskins win. They're they gonna play that in Minnesota, right? Yeah, they're playing in Minnesota. You know, ah, so. crap! But I was gonna be I was hoping they'd be in DC. Woo, just to see. man, man. Kurt, I mean, Kurt was already kind of low key throwing shade at Washington anyway. He's like, yeah, you know, we got this win, and uh, 
I'm just gonna have to, you know, do it to it on Thursday. I was like, yeah, Kurt, you you really are just cheesing to just light up the roster. He can't defense. wait to see the. He can't wait to see Burgundy and go walk on that field, man. <laughs> Hopefully he delivers. Hopefully he delivers. That's that's, that's what you hope. Um, <laughs> Seahawks Falcons. I'm going Seahawks. Me too. Did you see the empty seats at the Mercedes Benz Stadium? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is the sky blue? <laughs> Dog. Uh, I hate you, Dog, I, hate you. I, hate you. I hate you so much. Dog, there is nothing sadder. There's nothing sad- sadder than seeing uh, uh, a stadium empty. But when it's a stadium like that and that size that is empty, that's sad. Oh, man. <laughs> that's just, just straight up sad. Uh, Eagles Bills. I picked the I picked the Bills on the pick'em lead that was on because Bill's defense is actually really good, and if they do anything against Wentz, the offense just has to do the bare minimum to win. I'm going to go over the Eagles. And you ain't stopping Frank Gore. That dude got another 100 yards this past weekend. Yeah, well, Frank Gore ain't going to do that to the Eagles. I don't think that's happening. All right, all right. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> Whew, this is going to be a shit show. Uh, Chargers Bears. I'm going Chargers. I'm going Chicago. I'm going Chicago. Mm. You think this is going to be a low-scoring affair or a high-scoring affair? Oh, this is going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a nice defensive game, but I don't see the Chargers coming out. There. I really, I mean, Chargers I really got offense. Like to be stop. fair, Bears don't got that. So I mean, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think I think the Bears is going to edge this one out, though. Um, not quite a tank bowl, but uh, Giants Lions. Oh, it's not a take ball at all because the Lions are going to win this. The Lions are a better team. Yeah. Yeah, going Lions on that one. Uh, <laughs> Tampa Bay and the Titans. Whew. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, oh, God. Ta- uh, the Titans. I'm going to go Tampa Bay on this one. All right. Um, <laughs> Broncos, Colts, Colts. Yeah, Colts. I can't even... I can't be funny with this one, man. It's, it, Colts winning that one. Uh, God, this, yeah. O and eight Bengals are already off the break. Rams, Bengals, Rams. Yeah, Rams. I can't be I cute. Say, with that one. Yeah, I was like, don't be cute, man. Don't do not be. Mm-mm, don't do that. Um, don't do that just for the sake of it, dude. I'm like, yeah. My upset of the week here: Cardinals Saints. I'm going Cardinals. Uh, I thought it was going to be the Saints. Saints are going to win that one. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Jets, Jaguars. Jaguars. Jets. Okay, cool. Uh, Panthers. Wait, you got a text? No, I said Jaguars. I said Jaguars. I didn't say Jaguars. Oh, what's oh, oh, hell no. Um, Panthers 49ers. I'm going Panthers on that one. You know, I've been denying them any type of um, leeway, so I'm going to go for Carolina also. It's just that Carolina, now they had a week to rest and all that, I still think, I still think they're going to um, start Allen. So, yeah, they probably will. But, you know, they probably will. Um, Browns, Patriots. I'm going Patriots. <sighs> Petty pick of the week. I'm going for the Browns. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I needed one. I needed one, and I think it's this one. Um. Raiders Texans. I am going Texans on that one. Let's go Raiders. Oh. I think the Texans will win though. Let me make it very clear. I think the Texans are really going to win, but I'm betting on the I'm betting on the fluke of the Raiders winning this one. Uh, this is my petty pick of the week and stuff like that. Despite what's happening with the Chiefs, uh, Packers Chiefs. I'm going Chiefs. It's Matt Moore. So I'm going. No, I I don't like Matt Moore. No, I'm going for the Packers. Okay, and um, <laughs> oh god, this is this could go bad or good. Dolphin Steelers. Ooh, Steelers better than not lose it. I'm going Dolphins I on would this one. Never, I would. Oh, of course you're going to Dolphins. <laughs> I need that drip of Fitz magic to come through. <laughs> oh man, it's not going to be this game. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, not this game. This is not the game. I know what you want. You want shenanigans. I don't think this is a game. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, but I'm still, I'm still going Miami though. I'm still going Miami. 
right, man. Look, look, Miami is not going to see a win for you know. Let me just, right, who else they got to go against for the rest of the season, though, yeah, man. Let's, let's take a look let's at see. that. Let's take a look at that. Let's, let's, let's see that. That'll be the last thing we do tonight. Uh, like I said, we already went to Steelers. They got to see the Jets. That's going to be a good one. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's a tank. That's a tank bowl right there. That is that's a, a good old tank bowl right there. Then you got the <laughs> Colts lose. Bills, the Colts, yeah. that, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, they can fuck around and win that one. Browns, oh, yeah. oh that's going to be a tank bowl if the Browns go the on the trajectory. Are, look, the Browns are going to beat the shit out of them just to prove a point. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. I got Miami win over the Browns. All right. All right. Then they got to go against the Eagles. Then they got to see the Jets again. Then they got to see the Giants. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Are they just staying in New York for two weeks? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they got the oh, Patriots. Wow. Your last game is against the Patriots. Okay, fuck that. The game I'm looking at is going to be 12-22. Oh, the tank, bowl, the, the tank Bowl? The Tank Bowl of all like, Tank Bowls? That looked like that is going to be the Tank Bowl of all Tank Bowls. Oh, my God. We could be looking at history. Yes, we can. I say that only in a sense. Look, and I got to really look up who's going to come out in the draft next year. For whatever reason, something's telling me, Chris, that might change the face of both of those franchises. Yep. <laughs> it definitely will. <laughs> um, side note, yeah. shout, shouts to the uh, Wizards. They're up on Dallas Mavericks right now. They're starting their first game of the season. Um. 76ers are kicking ass right now against the Celtics. Uh, it's it's kind of early, though. But, yeah, you know. it's, it's early, but, you know, like I said, I still have high hopes for the Wizards because I'm optimistic about too. this shit. So, you know, it is what I it is. I do, too. Um, I'm hoping that they use the Mystics winning the championship to kind of, you know, put the medal to the medal and get something out of this this season and stuff. I'm hoping. Hopefully. Yeah, was, we'll see. And stuff. Well, anyway, it looks like to be out. Is the, bottom of the third, is the bottom of the third inning. It's tied up 2-2. Two, two. Of course we'll it what is. Because of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> this is going to be a good World Series. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.